Welcome to the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Friday, September 11th. This is Gina McGuire. We will continue to see warming temperatures through Saturday with temperatures well above normal across the Great Basin and still record temperatures expected today and Saturday over the northern half of Nevada. However, on Sunday, as moisture from the remnants of Tropical Storm Linda moves up into the Great Basin, we'll start to see showers and thunderstorms move into southern Nevada and southern Utah, which will quickly transition to wet. However, thunderstorms may also occur along the Sierra Front into northwest Nevada and possibly southern Idaho, which may start on the drier side. Also, we'll see some wind on Monday following these thunderstorms, and this will continue to be monitored. Initial attack will likely increase. However, also we may see a period for possible growth on fires in certain areas that have been very dry. Yesterday, we did see isolated thunderstorms over far southern Nevada with some light rainfall that was reported. Over the last one to two weeks, very dry conditions have continued across, especially the western two-thirds of Nevada, with no precipitation occurring. Any precipitation further east was a little more spotty, with the exception over the central Idaho mountains, which did see much cooler temperatures and more widespread precipitation. Yesterday, light initial attack was reported across the Great Basin, with a few smaller fires across the area. The water vapor satellite image from this morning shows now strong high pressure has built across the west, which is responsible for our very warm temperatures and low relative humidity across the area. The remnants of Tropical Storm Linda have now started moving into southern California and the southwest, and this moisture will move north into the southern part of the Great Basin starting on Sunday, and eventually later on Sunday spread into western and northern areas, bringing a return for showers and thunderstorms. Today, fire potential will remain moderate across the area due to these warm and dry conditions. Temperatures again will be well above normal, with highs reaching the mid to upper 90s over much of Nevada and low 100s in the south, and even the low 90s across Idaho and Utah, with single digit relative humidity or low teens. On Saturday, high pressure still dominates the Great Basin, but now moisture is starting to work its way up into parts of central and northern California for a return of mixed wet and dry thunderstorms, with continued moderate fire potential, hot temperatures, and dry conditions across the Great Basin. Very little change in temperatures expected Saturday, however most areas may see their peak temperatures on Saturday with very low relative humidity. As we move into Sunday and this moisture really starts to move north and east into the Great Basin, we'll see that return of thunderstorms and again over the Sierra front into northwest, northern Nevada and possibly into southern Idaho, these thunderstorms may start out on the drier side and with the very warm and dry conditions we've seen, especially across Nevada recently, these thunderstorms may increase fire potential. However, over southern areas, again, moisture will be increasing fairly quickly. The image on the left shows the areas of thunderstorms expected by Sunday. Again, more showers and thunderstorms with better chances of wetting rains over southern Nevada and southwest Utah into Arizona, with conditions further north being a little bit less certain with the amount of moisture and also question marks with the amount of overall lightning. This will continue to be monitored, especially after this hot and dry period. Now looking at Monday into the middle of next week, as a stronger area of low pressure drops into the northwest, this will allow for winds to increase across the Great Basin initially on Monday. Therefore, any lightning we do see on Sunday over western and northern areas may have the potential to start new fires and also may have some potential for fire spread into Monday with the winds. However, also relative humidity and moisture will be increasing significantly as we move through Monday and Tuesday across the Great Basin. Again, the main question marks are the far western side of Nevada, where we may not see as much moisture. Fire potential will be decreasing as we move through Monday, especially over southern areas of the Great Basin and eventually up into Idaho, however still may remain moderate on Monday due to the winds across Nevada. As we move into Tuesday, we have a lot more widespread moisture, especially over the southern half of the Great Basin, Nevada and Utah, and into parts of southeast Idaho and Wyoming, with decreasing fire potential across the area as temperatures will also significantly decrease about 15 or 20 degrees from the high temperatures we'll see this weekend. We'll also see much higher humidity. These conditions will continue into Wednesday with the better chances of rainfall moving into the northern half of the Great Basin and some drier air starting to move into southern Nevada and Utah. On Thursday we'll see this drier air spread north and east, however temperatures will still remain cool with some breezy winds as we see another area of low pressure drop into the Pacific Northwest, therefore fire potential towards the middle of the week will still remain rather low. If we look at forecast precipitation amounts on Sunday, we'll see that better chance of wetting rain move into the southern portion of the Great Basin and possibly even the southern Sierra with less chances of wetting rains further north. However, by Monday and Tuesday, that moisture really starts to overspread the area with the best chances of wetting rains across Idaho, eastern Nevada, Utah, and Wyoming. Current fire danger indices have showed the response from this warm and dry period we've been seeing with now ERCs 
above the 80th or 90th percentile over the northern half of Nevada into Utah and into southern Idaho and Wyoming. These ERC values are above normal for this time of year and in some areas of Utah are even hitting record maximum for the last 10 year period. However, as we move later in the month in September, especially next week and beyond, we may see a return to more below normal temperatures across the Great Basin as low pressure troughs move through the area, along with the potential for above normal precipitation over the northern two-thirds of the area. This concludes the briefing for today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you for listening.